College Now is a dual enrollment, dual credit program that allows a student to attend North Central State at the same time uh, they're working on their junior and senior year in high school and to graduate potentially with an associate degree at this point in electromechanical engineering at the same time they graduate from high school and earn their high school diploma. Uh, we're, looking, we're not looking for the most talented people around. What we're looking for are the Thomas Edisons, those inventors, those problem solvers, people who, who want to get into the, to their vocation up to their elbows and play in the mud. We're, we're after kids who want to learn, and that's, that's what we found, about, found out about our program, is that our kids are focused on the learning, not on the grade. We give them a project to design and build, or, or in some cases we just give them a canned circuit and they build it, <clears throat> and it seldom ever works the first time out. And, uh, and that's just the nature of the beast, the, the way we do the construction, you know, we breadboard things, and uh, that leaves uh, uh, room for errors. And so inevitably something's not going to work about any time we do a lab. So the students intuitively just do troubleshooting every single lab. It's been a nice twist on learning because you're actually doing what you actually may encounter in real life. And I've noticed that it's really helped me with like inspiration for doing more stuff like around home, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that, I can do that, you know. It's given me a lot more ability to get stuff done and to think of things more in a problem-based approach. I think I've learned so much more and been capable to learn a lot more, a lot faster in college now. Just the problem-based learning, I mean, really the problem is nothing more than something to drive you, you know, something that you're, at, you're after the answer. And uh, the problem, I mean, it just makes you determine to figure it out. Problem-based learning gives you a goal to work towards and instead of when you're back in when we were back in high school these were just perfect problems that were all linear and made up and they, they were they were perfect world problems. With the problem-based learning we can actually see that not everything's linear it, 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 it's yeah it, it's kind of messy and, and then the solutions you just have to work towards them and, and not get discouraged. And the kids because of their enthusiasm they don't back away from the task and when they come to the instructors for solutions and stuff, we often have to go back and uh, review some, some of the basic principles involved there. And uh, so it keeps, us, it keeps us moving all the time, thinking. And it also kind of gives us feelers out into industry, some of the problems that they're trying to deal with. We're up to 24 business partners, and, and they, their active participation in, in the, the program has been vital. We have... Uh, members who, who provide students with, with problems like Greywack Engineering uh, has done with the generator project that our, our seniors a year ago uh, completed. This past uh, year our students worked on a, a project for Gorman Rupp Company to develop a test chamber for, for their check valves and their pumps. And we were to design a test chamber so that we could uh, determine the, the blowout ratings of these uh, check valves for safety reasons so that they could meet uh, some of their federal regulations as well as ensure their customers, uh, both current and hopefully new at that time, that their uh, pumps were very safe. We came up with probably 10 different designs and then eventually we came down with one really good one which they are using right now. Previously when we did the Gorman Rupp project, I was designing for our certain group with the inventor and I guess that works really well because business, business is like the, uh, the 3D aspect of the designs. Uh, right now we're working with uh, a Smurfit Stone uh, container on a project as, as well as uh, Heistat Industries. On the Smurfit project we, we build like this apparatus and then we also have to think about what if we were using that and like what's going to be the easiest so yeah we definitely thinking of the customer first is part of what we do. This summer a few of us had internship jobs at uh, companies around the area and I think what some of those companies were happy to see is kids even though we're just 16, 17 years old we had already been involved in working as a team and uh, doing real engineering. Uh, right now for a summer job I'm gonna see if I can get a job like at Kokosing but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen yet. Probably gonna wind up with an internship this summer and uh, I'll probably, I'm gonna do the Miami night courses here at the Keogh building to get my bachelor's.
Uh, I'd like to go on to college to, uh, I'm thinking about right now, either going into like petroleum engineering or civil engineering. Next year I'm starting at the Miami program at night, and during the mornings I'm going to go over to AU for a bachelor's in physics, and then on to grad school for physics. Starting in the fall of 2007, I'll be attending Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, in starting into a four-year year program that hopefully will be shortened because of this a little bit uh, for electrical engineering or computer science, possibly a double major there, and then I'd also like to work past that into graduate school to at least a master's degree. I intend to go on to college, or I'm not sure what for yet. I'm going to try some architectural landscaping, which a lot of the engineering would come into play in that. But I think whatever field I go into, this has definitely given me a head start for whatever I go into. As a person that's starting out in life with a big head start on other people my age, just because how much this program has benefited and helped out in the process of learning and gaining new knowledge. I think it's been a great experience, you know, because we're still graduating with an associate's degree from high school. But, I mean, it's been a challenge a lot more than regular high school has been. I, I guess college now, like, is really sort of a blessing. I mean, if I had a chance to do it over again, I'd do it a hundred out of a hundred times. I know that other students have said about how life does not always work out in the perfect sense like it does in the math book, and the problem-based learning and the touring that we've done and the things like that that the College Now program offers enables us to, to really get an idea of what it's really like out there in the real world. They're always challenging their own limits, so. Um, and just in that respect, to see young people doing that is so refreshing, so invigorating, it's just hard to describe, to be honest with you. 